Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hope everyone will be fine. As you all know that due to pandemic of this COVID-19, Fauji Foundation Education System has launched a YouTube channel for online education to make your holidays productive. So please like, subscribe and share this channel. A short message for you all in this current situation is to stay home, stay safe and save Pakistan. This video is uploading from Fauji Foundation School, Kohat. I am Asma Zeb and it's my first online lecture and our topic for today is our universe and the solar system of standard 4 and the subject is social studies. So before starting the topic think for a moment and recall your previous knowledge uh, what you already know about this topic. Obviously, you had studied its basics in your previous classes. Here the first part of our topic is the universe and its origin. So students, can you define what is universe? All existing matter or everything in the world, the entire space, the cosmos is the universe. You know that this universe is so vast that it has no end. Now the question arises that how this universe was originated or what is the origin of the universe. There are many different theories about how the universe started. Uh, one of the most important is Big Bang Theory. Big Bang means a great explosion. This explosion occurred about 10 to 20 billion years ago when absolutely nothing existed. There were no galaxies, no stars, not even the earth. This explosion caused a gigantic cloud of gas and dust with an incredible high temperature. This cloud was even in shape but it began to grow and grow and grow with such a tremendous speed and then it expands. The temperature cools down. At this stage the universe began to form. In some parts of these clouds the changes that took place were fast and in some they were slow causing the condensation. As a result of this condensation, stars, planets, galaxies and our solar system is formed. So students hope you got the clear idea about the origin of the universe and how heavenly bodies are formed. Okay, let's see what Quran says about the creation of universe. Allah says, and verily we created the heavens and the earth and that is between them in six days and in six night. And the heaven is also a sign we have built it with our hands that is capability and surely we are indeed extending it wide. So students, let's see the second part of our topic that is solar system. Sun, eight planets, their moons, asteroids and comets, they form our solar system. Here you can see this cute one is sun, it is a star and it has its own light. The planets that revolve around sun, they are eight in number and they all revolve around the sun in their fixed paths. The first planet is Mercury, second is Venus, third is Earth, fourth is Mars, 5th is Jupiter, 6th is Saturn, 7th is Uranus and 8th is Neptune. We will discuss all these planets one by one in detail. The first one is star which is sun. It is a hot ball of gases and all planets revolve around sun. The first planet is Mercury. It is the closest and brightest planet. The second planet of our solar system is Venus. It is hottest and brightest planet because it has clouds of carbon dioxide. The third planet is our Earth. It is a living planet because life only exists here due to presence of water and oxygen. The fourth planet is Mars. It is also called as red planet. The fifth planet of our solar system is Jupiter which is the largest planet of our solar system. The next planet of our solar system is Saturn. It has ring of gases and clouds. Then the planet is Uranus and its color is blue and green due to presence of some gases. The last and coldest planet of our solar system is Neptune. So here we can see that all these planets, they revolve around the sun in their fixed paths which are called as orbits. They do not change their orbits. Okay students, 
let's take the recap of our today's topic that is our universe and the solar system universe was originated by big bang and solar system can be defined as a system of sun in which eight planets along their moons revolve around the sun in their fixed paths which are called as orbits hope everything is clear uh, now it's your turn to assess yourself by solving all the activities and exercises given in your book and in last i must say life is too short be positive be happy stay blessed take care and allah hafiz